What's cracking, everybody? My name is Smart Guy, Matt Zapali here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And we have a new series here, a new episodes of Blind Reactions, where certain lyrics are just presented to me. I can't hear the beat. I don't know what the song is, but it's about money. It's about entrepreneurship. It's about business. My reaction to these lyrics. And just so you know, I have a very, very bad update to what's going on with new trending music today. Had not been for my social media team who's in their 20s, I really would have no clue what's the new music of today because my CD player, so to speak, is still stuck in the 90s, man. I still got the Mary J. Blige, what's the 411 CD in my CD player, but uh, music is a huge part of program the mind to think like a millionaire. So uh, you gotta be careful about the music that you listen to because music has the power to infiltrate your subconscious mind. And it seduces you. Music seduces you by listening to the beat. And next thing you know, you got words in your brain, in your language, in your mouth that you didn't even realize was there. Probably a big reason why I'm very careful about the music that I listen to. But uh, let's take a look at this blind song reaction episode one. How much a dollar really costs? The question is detrimental, paralyzing my thoughts. Parasites in my stomach keep me with a gut feeling, y'all. Okay. How much does a dollar really cost? Hey, it's a good question. Uh, definitely a dollar is less worth today than it was yesterday. If you keep your money in the bank, you'll be broker and broker. It's not earning no interest. You'll be broker and broker tomorrow. I'll give you an example. A client of mine who's a neurologist gave me this 10 billion dollar bill from Zimbabwe. And that government completely tanked the economy where $10 billion, I don't know, you do the math, $10 billion, the exchange rate, the highest amount of inflation is in Zimbabwe. And I think this is worth around what, two, three, four, five cents, not worth a lot. But how much does a dollar really cost? And what are you willing to pay to make a dollar? Let's take a look at the next slide. Got to see how I'm chilling once I park this luxury car Hopping out feeling big as Matumbo, 20 on pump six. Yeah, 20 on pump six. How much does $20 get you today at the gas station? Not much. Walked out the gas station, a homeless man with a semi tan complexion asked me for 10 rand, stressing me about dry land, deep water, powder blue skies that crack open, a piece of crack that he wanted. I know he was smoking. He begged and pleaded, Asked me to feed him twice. I didn't believe it. Told him beat it. <laughs> okay. All right. Walked out the gas station. Okay. Now this sounds like a story. I still have no clue what the name of the song is. Have no clue who the artist is. So sounds like I'm taken through a journey here of this song. Next slide. Contributing money just for his pipe. I couldn't see it. He said, "My son, temptation is one thing." that I've defeated. Listen to me, I want a single bill from you. Nothing less, nothing more. I told him I ain't have it and closed my door. Tell me how much a dollar cost. But just so you guys know, I'm probably one of the worst people when it comes to lyrics. You know, I grew up during the uh, 80s and the 90s where it's just Chicago house music. You know, gotta have house music all night long. And by the way, that's extent of my lyrics. Maybe some Tupac, maybe some Biggie, definitely some Warren G, but uh, the music today, I'm very much detached from. I still have no clue who this artist is, what this song is. He's staring at me and disbelief. My temper is building. He's staring at me. I grabbed my key. He's staring at me. I started the car. Then I tried to leave and something told me to keep it in park until I could see the reason why he was mad at a stranger like I was supposed to save him. Okay, getting interesting. Like, I'm the reason he's homeless and asking me for a favor. Anytime I run to somebody in this particular situation, they're asking for money. They're asking me for whatever the case may be. I don't give out cash, but if somebody asks me for money, I ask them if they're hungry, and they say yes, they're thirsty. I said yes, I clothe them, I feed them, I give them something to drink. I very rarely give them cash. I never understood someone begging for goods, asking for hangouts, taking it they should. And this particular person just had it down pat, staring at me for the longest until he finally asked, have you ever opened up Exodus 14? Interesting, Exodus 14. And by the way, you're probably watching this right now like, stupid idiot, don't you know this song? <laughs> I 
tone, man. I'm sorry. I apologize, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been investing the last 23 years of my life reading books, not listening to lyrics. So got to apologize for this if you guys are dogging that right now as, as you're watching this. Guilt tripping and feeling resentment. I never met a transient demanded attention. They got me frustrated, indecisive, and power tripping. Sour emotions got me looking at the universe different. I should distance myself. I should keep it relentless. My selfishness is what got me here. Who the f*** am I kidding? So I'm going to tell you like I told the last bum, crumbs and pennies. I need all of mine's, and I recognize this type of panhandling all the time. Now keep in mind, when I was struggling, I did compromise. So he's kind of reflective. The guy's kind of reflective of what he individually went through. So I'm assuming he's no longer struggling. I smell grandma's old medicine. Reeking from your skin, moonshine and gin, the jig is up. I see you from a mile away, losing focus, and I'm insensitive and I lack empathy. Okay, he apparently doesn't have empathy, but he under, at least he understands. He looked at me and said, your potential is bittersweet. I looked at him and said, every nickel is mine to keep. He looked at me and said, know the truth, it'll set you free. But yet this homeless man or this person that he's referencing in, this, in his lyrics is preaching, we talked about Exodus 14, you're looking at the Messiah, the son of Jehovah, the higher power, the choir that spoke the word, the Holy Spirit, the nerve of Nazareth, and I'll tell you just how much a dollar cost, the price of having a spot in heaven, embrace your loss, I am God. Um, the only person I've seen or heard say things like this is probably Kanye, I could be wrong. I washed my hands, I said my grace, what more do you want from me? Turn this page, help me change to right my wrongs. End the song. I wash my hands, I said my grace, what more do you want from me? So it looks like this person is struggling with this person who may be somebody who's reflecting that might be representing God in his life. I mean, I wrestle with God. A lot of people wrestle with God because sometimes we don't understand God because we have a human brain and we're trying to wrap our mind around this creator that's omnipresent and just omniscient and everywhere and in everything. Can I turn the page now? All right. It is, do you know who wrote the song? Song and name on the next slide. It is Kendrick Lamar. So let's talk about the full context of this song. So on his road to recovery, he runs into a homeless man at a gas station in South Africa. He tells a story of a man asking for 10 rand, approximately a dollar US. Initially, Kendrick says no and feels resentment as the man continues to berate him. After asking if he'd read Exodus 14, Kendrick begins to feel guilty and sympathetic towards the man. Okay, I was sensing that. Uh, his selfishness towards which he attributes his, attributes his success, eventually comes out most in his interactions with the homeless man. At that point, the man reveals himself to be God. His selfishness and unwillingness to give the homeless man a dollar has caused him his place in heaven. Ouch. Kendrick recognized the lack of humility and greed. He's regretful and earnestly asks God what more he must do other than prayer and recognizes his sins to repent. He goes on to accept his flaws and begs to turn a new pace to right his wrongs, starting the path to true redemption. Yes, I mean, the scripture says, what well, the least you've done to my brothers, the least you've done to any of his creation, you've done unto him. So, yeah, I can see how this uh, fits into Kendrick Lamar's reflection of this moment. So, hey guys, first reaction video, what did you think? What was, I, was I an idiot? Was I missing a mark? I'm trying to understand the lyrics too as well, understand the flow. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. You agree with me? You don't agree with me? You think I'm an, I'm an idiot for not knowing who the artist was? Hey, hey, I'm learning one. First episode, we'll get better at this. But this is pretty interesting here uh, with this uh, with this song and understanding how music and lyrics and uh, culture all wrapping together and who we are today here in 2022. So that being said, please put your thoughts, your comments, your feedback in the comment section below. If you like this video, please consider hitting like. If you watch a couple of our other episodes and you haven't done so already, please consider hitting subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. And by the way, don't forget, pick up your copy of Faith Made Millionaire, best-selling book on Amazon. Please pick up your copy today. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. And be money smart today. Thank <laughs> you.